How are you feeling today? <laughs> Look at the mop! I got it on camera! <laughs> I want to do the little swirly door thingy. It doesn't, doesn't work. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Amarillo, Texas. Look at Amarillo National Bank. How cool is that? We've got like 14 hours of driving today, so definitely a pretty busy day. Got my bags packed. Now I'm ready to hit the road. M5CS was flawless yesterday. Then 25,000 miles, kind of a milestone. Maybe BMW M will sponsor us, give us, us some new, give, give us <laughs> us give us some new tires maybe an extended service so anyways up oh, i think somebody else is going to probably get in their car here so we will do that and hopefully the truck should be coming up right truck or car sorry yeah you're still tired. you need some starbucks it's a beautiful morning better than 90 degrees by 9 a.m already <laughs> <laughs> M5 CS absolutely caked in oh, mud. Yeah. Paramount. Pretty cool, like little small town vibe. There's like nobody on the streets. It's what, Monday morning? Yeah, Monday it's morning like about 7 a.m. <laughs> We're at Palace Coffee here in Amarillo. Yeah, about to hit the road. All right, coffee secured thanks to Palace Coffee. What do you think? Pretty good? Yeah, it's solid. Like yeah. this is actually a really nice coffee shop. Yeah, it's super nice inside, actually. Yeah. Do you have the re registration? Um, yeah, I do some right there. The registration on here. It's on your side. <laughs> he automatically was like, "Yeah, you're getting a citation." You're getting today. He said, "He said uh, allegedly 92 and a 75." Yeah. Ticket clinic. I'm gonna be giving you a call very soon. Hello, hello. Hey there, good morning. This is uh, Nicholas. Um, I just got a uh, speeding ticket in, uh, what's the county again? Carson County. In Carson County. So I'm seeing if you guys would be able to help me out with that. Do you have a commercial driver's license or driver's license? Just a regular one. Won't affect uh, your ability to continue to drive. Right now I'm editing the video that you guys are watching. Currently we just uploaded the first day one video. So if you guys haven't seen the journey from day one, go check that out. But I'm assuming you guys probably have if you're watching day two already. But again, we're in the CS right now. We are cruising along. We're going to some nature park here in Oklahoma to actually go for a little walk. Again, Nick's doing 75 hard, which is yeah. super cool. So it should be kind of fun. Really good. Like the chicken is so tender. Biscuit's really good too, but probably the most tender chicken I've ever had. Definitely come back. I think it's like a chain restaurant. Yeah, though. I think so, yeah. yeah. They took yeah. Apple Pay, thank God, finally, yeah. somebody. <laughs> M5CS, completely filthy. It's actually not as bad as I thought though. My toe hook was like popping off. Yeah. Onward we go. Probably not getting home to like 12.30 in the morning now. Oklahoma's beautiful though, man. What a beautiful state. I'm gonna sleep on that couch upstairs. Do you actually want to? Yeah, I actually want to. All right, we're in Joplin, Missouri, I think, right, Joplin? Joplin. Yeah, Joplin, Missouri. Uh, actually, I'm I'm a huge fan of the weather in a hold few on, years hold ago. Hold on, really quick. Where are we at right now? Oh. Star uh, Starbucks, yeah. We're at Starbucks. How right many now. how many coffees is this today? This is two for me. Two? Yeah, two for me. Second one. Oh, no, three. Three, sorry, three. Um, I've been trying to not... I mean, I've been drinking black coffee, though. So this is a, anyways, Joplin, Missouri, actually, a few years ago, was the site of a huge, significant tornado. I think it was in 2009, so, like, this is actually a while ago now but a really significant EF5 tornado. I'm a huge fan of the weather. And that was a really, I mean, probably one of the strongest tornadoes ever on record. So to see the town kind of coming back, I know their medical center was completely damaged and stuff is really amazing. Yeah, and there's old Chicago pizza right there, ironically. Severe thunderstorm watch here today, so that's why I bring up the weather. It just got issued, so we're gonna try to make it back. We got about another eight hours or so of driving. M5's pretty good. It was uh, a little rough on startup a second ago. I don't know why, but probably because I've been driving it pretty hard, but this car's a keeper car forever. I'll never sell it. I love it. I'll build it. 
when I destroy the motor the first time and then just keep it forever. <laughs> Let's at least get back to Illinois before you do that. Yeah, no, for sure. So, destroying motors thing. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit here. Hopefully this thing uh, gets us gets us there. Right, so we're averaging about 18 miles a gallon so far on our journey, which is pretty good considering we've driven this car very, very hard. But this thing just coasts along 85, 90 miles an hour. Most of the speed limits are like 75, between 70 and 80 miles an hour. So really, I mean, you're not going that fast between 85 and 90 and you're just kind of coasting along. But I mean, honestly, this is such a great car. And everything this car does, the comfort, you know, with the seats even being race bucket seats, they're awesome. You have race buckets in the back. So again, if you're going on a long cross country journey with four people, maybe it's too cramped, especially if they don't like the race buckets. But for us, it's awesome. We still pulled over and got a good night's sleep last night, but if you really had to, you could also sleep in these seats as well. And just, I don't know, the car's awesome. Looks like there might be some bad weather up ahead as I alluded to earlier, so we'll see. I was wrong about the tornado thing as well. It was in 2011, not 2009, but still regardless, it was an insane, insane storm. I think it cost like $3 billion in damage. So it's very good to see Joplin back up and running for the most part, for the parts that we saw at least. And uh, yeah, let's do one, uh, let's do one. And I love the M1 and M2 individual boats too, but I mean, this thing just hauls. It's awesome. Hopefully the storms aren't too bad and hopefully we make it home. I think we have eight hours left about, so. Yeah, not too bad, so. Peace. But you're scared of a little bit of rain, huh? I survived Hurricane Ian. I think I got a little bit of rain. Why don't you show them the banana chips that have 10 grams of saturated fat? That's what's wrong with America. Well, they don't tell you that. They, they don't tell you that, no. Have... They put coconut oil with it. They clog your arteries. Then you have heart disease, silence. like you said. And then the pharmaceuticals may all go the money off of you. Yeah. That's how it works. They're in with Big Pharma right here. Looks like a nasty storm front, though. Large destructive hail. Up to golf ball sized. Golf ball size. Golf ball. The smallest one I've seen is half dollar. Okay. Well, we're trying to outrun this storm and uh, it's to the left of us. We're going this way. It's going to blindside us. It's going to broadside us. And that's a state trooper right there. So, the last thing we need is another ticket, Nick. We got this. I feel very confident, okay? Famous last words, guys, right there. I feel confident. Now, if there is a bad storm, I'm going to cut the next clip. <laughs> We're not going through that. We're going this way. It's going this way, though, I think. Uh, don't worry. We're good. We're making good timing. We're making good timing. We've got six hours. I'm not going to let that time go up any further. <laughs> Good, we're good. All right, so there is actually a very, very nasty storm right along beside this hill, and we're kind of going right into it, but we just got the alert from the National Weather Service. We got about six hours left, so we're trying to we're trying to shoot the gap, but that is a nasty storm right there, and you guys can might be able to see it over the bridge. Let's see. Oh, yeah, dude, there's no way we're shooting that gap. So we're going right into it. That actually looks like the gust front. Maybe we'll get lucky and get by it, but I don't know. I'm actually very calm about this. Oh yeah, dude. We're right there. There's the storm. I don't think we're really getting our, look at, ready? It's like, it's gonna, yeah, it's probably gonna hit us, but hopefully we get around the hail core. That's all I, I, I think, care I think about. we'll be clean the front end of the car too. So there's some pros to this. Yeah, there is, there is. Yeah. A busted windshield after I just paid $2,500. Probably not a pro. You got a new windshield on this thing? Yeah. I had to buy two this year. Why? Because the, the rocks in Arizona broke them. The way the highway is, we're going like we're going east west. It's going north south. Right. It's like clear over there, and then just like a monster right there. So okay. That's literally like. Florida. Welcome to Saint Robert. Well, Saint Robert, please protect us here, because that looks nasty. I think, dude, we're actually kind of outrunning it in a sense. Oh, yeah, because we're doing 85, like, unless it's moving at 100. Exactly, it's not moving that 85 much. or higher, yeah, it's yeah. not gonna. So we'll be fine. We're gonna get, we're obviously gonna get some rain because we're on the outskirts of it, but as long as we keep going this direction and kind of go around it like this. Besides the lightning, the storm actually wasn't that bad. No. 
no hail or anything, thank God. So we're just kind of chugging along. Thank you, Mother Nature, for the car wash. Definitely needed it. Oh, All those yeah. bugs in the front. Got another six hours. Going to be in Illinois relatively soon. And then you guys are probably just catching with us at the end of the trip like we did yesterday because once nightfall comes, there's really no point. Unless something very interesting happens, which... <laughs> Let's hope there's nothing bad at just... Yeah. <laughs> like, we need to get home already. This car has been so flawless, but even in the rain and everything, man. Oh, it's just so good. Well, final gas stop, I think. We're somewhere in Missouri right before we get into Illinois. Did pretty good, actually. Still lightning out yeah. a little bit, but what a beautiful sunset Such to end really the journey. Good. Wow. Super, super sick. Yeah. Just going to finish topping off the M5CS and back on the way home. I'm an absolute mess. I've been cleaning today, getting the house ready. Spring cleaning, as they say. Back, all the cars are at the uh, garage right now because we're doing some spring cleaning, like I said. M5CS is home. We got home at 2 a.m. last night. Thanks to Nick's amazing driving. Poor guy was falling asleep behind the wheel, but we made it back and I'm just super thankful for your support in the last video. You guys absolutely killed it, so thank you guys so much. Really looking forward to filming a lot of stuff this summer. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.